Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Chemistry Tutor. Here we're going to work on the combined gas law, the uh, topic we learned in the last section, and we will apply it to some problems. And you'll see that it really allows you to solve more complicated types of gas problems in chemistry. So uh, we say a gas, for the first problem, has a volume of 410 milliliters at 27 degrees Celsius and 740 millimeters of mercury pressure. What volume would the gas occupy at 250 degrees Celsius and 680 millimeters of mercury of pressure? So again, you're given an initial state. We know the volume, the temperature, and the pressure in some initial state, and we move to some state number two, some final state, where we're trying to figure out what the new volume is, and we've changed the temperature, and we've changed the pressure. So we've actually changed two things, moving from state one to state two. That's how you know you have to use the combined gas law when you start changing more than one thing as you move the gas on from state one to state two. But to make everything easy for you, the way you should do this is you should always write down what you know. So V1, the initial volume, it says here is 410 milliliters, okay? And it says that the final volume, V2, is what we're trying to find. It says right here, what volume will the gas occupy, blah, blah, blah. So that's the final volume we want. The initial pressure, P1, uh, is given to us as 740 millimeters of mercury, all right? And the final pressure that we move to, if you read the problem, uh, it says the final pressure is 680 millimeters of mercury. All right, and then here we have the temperature. So the initial temperature, T1, is 27 degrees Celsius, and T2, the final temperature, is 250 degrees Celsius. Now you should know by now, when you're doing these equations, you really want to be working in Kelvin. So right away, these temperatures need to change. So T1, you just take your temperature in Celsius and you add 273.15. And when you do that, you get 300.15 Kelvin. This is the temperature that we're going to use. And then over here, you'll have T2, you just take the 250 plus 273.15, and you'll get 523.15. Kelvin. I'll just put a K down there for Kelvin. Okay, so now we know everything. We know the initial volume, the initial pressure, the initial temperature, and we know the final pressure, the final temperature, which have changed. So we move, we've changed two things, and we're trying to figure out what the new volume is. Notice that the number of moles uh, there in the beginning of the problem has not changed. It didn't say anything about the number of moles of the gas. So if the problem doesn't state anything at all about the number of moles, then you just assume that it's constant. So you start with a fixed amount of gas and you do this stuff to it. You